is a video of how to install Windows Vista on the Dell Inspiron 1545. I just installed the hard drive, which I'll put the link down below of how I installed the hard drive. And we're installing Windows Vista directly from Dell's disk. So it'll probably be a little bit easier to install. You might not have to install any drivers or anything like that. So the first thing you want to do is power it on. And you want to, while it's turning on, press F12. On Dell's F12 give you the boot option so you can have it boot to the CD or flash drive. Um, in this case we're doing a CD DVD so we're going to pick the CD DVD option. Once you get to this menu, you just select your language, country, um, and the keyboard method. That's all correct for me, so I'm just clicking yes. Next, and then install now. It's going to ask to go ahead and agree. And accept. Next, and we're going to do custom, which is the only option. Now, being that this is a brand new drive, it's going to say unallocated space, which is what we want. And you can just click next. Now, if you're doing it from a hard drive that already had an operating system um, and there's nothing important on it because it will wipe the hard drive, you can go to drive options and then delete. Now, Keep in mind, if you do that, you will delete everything that's on that hard drive. So in this case, we don't have to do that. We're just going to you know, select that one and then click Next. And then it'll start installing Windows. So this process is probably going to take about what, 30, 30 to 40 minutes since we're doing it from a CD to a conventional hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this portion. Um, Alright, now we're at the beginning stage of 
So we just finished installing Windows Vista. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I'm just gonna put owner as the user. You can put whatever name you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use the recommended settings. I usually recommend to do that so you can have all the updates and be secured and up to date. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to my time zone, which is Eastern. And set the correct time. It is not the correct time. Now it's just in the final steps. the desktop so we're 100% done installing it now there might be missing drivers and stuff like that and you have to do that and install the updates which I'll do in a separate video